preserve saturation in low end flexo, convert RGB to CNYK OGB. RGB Original, Mux Gamut, this is our target for low end flexo. Regular CNYK, this is how it would print with 13% minimum dot. CNYK OGB separation, more saturation, less minimum dot issue. Workflow of reseparating CNYK to CNYK OGB by Retouch Express. I will simulate 13% minimum dot in print through the whole workflow. This is a live preview of dot gain, so I'm constantly getting a correct feedback on how it would print in Flexo. Triplex separation is recommended before generating new spot channels. Triplex makes plates cleaner. Cyan is eliminated from the orange, magenta is missing from the leaf. Now I shorten the cyan, filtering out unnecessary pixels from the highlights. You can mask out the effect of the breakout setting by just using the brush tool of RXP panel. I also want to simplify my yellow plate using breakout setting just like I did on the cyan channel. Finally I remove light tones from the black plate. Then eliminate most of the stray pixels from that part of the job I have turned plate preview on. Now I start introducing spot plates. First I switch cyan channel to Pantone Green 808C. Then I'm replacing magenta by Pantone Orange 151C. Now I switch magenta back under orange C151. And go back to my CNYK retouch group to modify magenta. I'm going to keep only the shadow area of the magenta channel, so I kind of blend it with P151. As you can see, I created a nice intense mix of magenta and 151C. I move on to the green P808 plate and adjust it with curves, setting more contrast on it. The good thing in Retouch Express is that all modifications are non-destructive on spot plates. So when I apply a curves adjustment layer on P151, I won't lose details in the highlights. I'll be able to reset it anytime later in the workflow. I can also create multiple curves layers for a spa channel even within only a selected area.
Now I'm going to replace black plate by a Pantone blue. Then clean these thin lines. Clean layer can also be turned on and off so no details get lost. You can do this in Quick Mask. The plugin automatically exits QM mode when you click on Apply. Instead of just simply cleaning these scattered pixels, you may use a soft selection and a curve, so the breakout limit will look more natural. I'm returning to the CNYK Retouch group and check what I have done so far. As you can see, I have got five retouch actions on process channels. Cyan plate is empty. Magenta has a breakout adjustment. Yellow was also shortened by a breakout. Black plate is empty too. One curves layer on P808. Two curve layers on P151. A curves and a clean layer on blue channel. Comparing the RGB original with the CLYK OGB separation, you can see that I could retain a similar wide gamut even with 13% minimum dot simulation.